on this Wednesday morning, we're not just talking about that dense fog. We're also talking about some snow showers that have been falling off and on overnight. Currently, temperatures are in the low to mid 20s across the state line. 24 currently in Rockford. We do have that light snow being reported at the airport. Visibility down to zero. Now keep in mind, this particular graphic does round down that visibility officially at the airport down to about three tenths of a mile. Regardless, it is still pretty foggy out there. But what exactly is the cause for the snow? It's not showing up on radar. Let's take a look here. Well, the closest radar that we've got to our area is actually just to the south and west of Milwaukee, about 60 miles from our area. When you take the lowest beam height, which is how low that beam radar beam is able to detect, it's actually at 7200 feet. Cloud bases are much, much lower than that early this morning, which is contributing to that snow not being detected on radar. It's also contributing, of course, to the dense fog that we've got out there right now. Satellite and radar again looking very quiet, deceptively so here across the state line. There are some snow showers, so keep that in mind this morning. I noticed Auburn Street was pretty covered in some of that snow. Now the heaviest snow and the snow that is showing up on radar remains off to the west and will remain off to the west as we go through the day today. We've got high pressure in place of our weather. Despite high pressure, clouds will be sticking around, so we cannot seem to shake the pesky cloud cover. Those of you in Freeport uh, in western portions of Ogle County, hopefully you were able to enjoy some sunshine yesterday. As we go into the noon hour, again, mostly cloudy skies sticking around all afternoon. Now as we get into early Thursday, I would not be surprised to see a flurry or two, and it's all thanks to this northeasterly flow off of Lake Michigan, especially east of I-39. So if you're traveling towards Milwaukee, towards Chicago, or even the northeastern suburbs, northwestern suburbs of Chicago, keep that in mind as we go into your Thursday. Cloud cover sticking around, so we've got another day of cloudy skies for your Thursday. Even into Friday, we're going to keep the cloud cover going, although I think we'll start to gradually break out of the cloud cover into the weekend. But until then, dense fog advisory area wide until 10 o'clock this morning. Those temperatures in the mid to upper 20s by the noon hour and wind chills likely to be in the teens and low 20s here for the next couple of hours. So bundle up 33 degrees that forecast high dense fog and flurries early on. Otherwise, more clouds for the afternoon hour. Southeasterly winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Winds go calm again tonight, and that could lead to some patchy fog and a few flurries east of I-39. And as we go into your day tomorrow, cloudy again, a flurry or two again, especially east of I-39 into far northeast Illinois, southeast Wisconsin. Temperatures in the mid 30s. Let's take a look at your 70 forecast overall. I'm not going to look kind of a boring pattern in terms of our weather here. Temperatures staying at, if not slightly above average. And let's take a look at your most accurate 10 day forecast overall. Very, very small chances for any kind of precipitation as we go through the next 10 days.